Tom Chilton, big announcement this morning regarding your plans for next year. Uh, give us the details. I'm staying here another year in the championship, which is great because this is the best championship in the world, as we all know. Uh, and more importantly, I'm staying with the same team. Uh, Accelerate Motorsports worked so hard uh, on my car this year. We've come a long way from the start of the year and uh, they're making some big improvements on, on all the cars. And uh, I feel like we're actually developing it, which is brilliant. And I think as a team, you can just walk up down the paddock, you can see how professional they are. And, and my teammate Tom's obviously right in there for the fight of the championship. Uh, and uh, Bristol Street Motors and all of my other sponsors, Verified Entry, being fantastic. And uh, they want me to stay here too. So I'm staying here, so I'm happy. And it's good news in many ways because, I mean, you've hopped around the grid a, a few times during the course of your career, but back-to-back to -back seasons with one team is, is, is quite important. I think consistency is key. Uh, you know, I've always wanted to see what every team's like and what every engine's like, and I've driven every, I'm have driven. i probably one of the only drivers to have driven every single engine package. Uh, so I know what they're all like, different feel. Um, but after lots of hopping around, uh, I've decided consistency is the most important thing because we all lap within the same hundredth of a second anyway, it seems to me. So might as well stay here, uh, enjoy my time with my teammates and my engineer. And uh, it's a lot of fun here and it's also very professional, so it's the right place for me. And you've done a lot of productive development work, uh, work during the course of the season. We saw the results of that really at Silverstone two weeks ago. Yeah, Silverstone was fantastic. I was gutted I couldn't turn the tyre on in uh, qualifying. Uh, but in the race, I, I fought through the field really nicely and uh, yeah, I finished seventh in the last one, which was my highest finish this year so far. Uh, but from where I started off, I think 19th at the beginning of the year, to get up to seventh is we've been getting there. And I think, wow, if I've done that in one year, if I start seventh next year, where am I going to finish next year? So uh, uh, I'm, I'm all very excited about the future. So what are the, uh, the new car plans and what's the work uh, required during the course of the winter? Yeah, so we've had the, the same cars here for a few years and uh, it's time for a freshen up. So uh, we're going to update all of the chassis, uh, which I think will be a big improvement from what I've learned over the years. And uh, it's, it's something which some other cars have got. We've actually got kind of a 2013 spec of chassis, actually, compared to some of the other cars, which are more like a 2022 spec. So I think the upgrade will be good. It will be fitting to, to match the other guys on the paddock. And I can't, can't wait to see what we do with, this, with the same kit they've got. And at the end of the day, we're not exactly slow. We're right up there. So uh, it's exciting. Exactly. Quick thought about your teammate Tom Ingram for this weekend and what kind of part uh, have you got to play in the, the way things are going to pan out? Well, we all want Tom to win, obviously, here. Um, and uh, I'll try my hardest to, to help him out, but at the end of the day, I don't want to be the guy to, to end anyone's races. I want to let those top four guys fight, fight it out between themselves, and, uh, and hopefully Tom can uh, be the best man and, and cross the line first at the end of the weekend. Excellent. Good news this morning. Great to have you around for 2023. Thanks, Steve. Cheers.